Hi, I'm Robert. Welcome back to another on the road video brought to you by ApplianceVideo.com. Stop. Before you begin any repair, unplug the appliance from the wall outlet. It is also recommended that you check for proper voltage. Remember to also turn off the gas. To complete this repair, you will need a number two Phillips screwdriver. Today we're working on an Amana gas dryer. Customer's complaint is that she opens the door and the unit will not stop tumbling. We've determined that the contacts and the switch are fused so we'll be replacing the door switch. To access this component, you must first remove the lint screen. Now let's pull the lint screen and we'll remove the two number two Phillips screws that lock the top down to the air duct. And then we will put our foot against the bottom right corner of the dryer and pull the right rear of the lid towards us. And pull up as we do that. We're gonna repeat that on the left side. Now that our uh, top is loose, I'm gonna lay a protective cover across the top edge or front edge and lean the top all the way back against the wall. Our next step is to unplug the wire Molex for the door switch. Then we'll open the door and remove our two number two Phillips screws from the door switch. Now I am holding the switch with my other hand so it doesn't fall down inside the dryer. and your door switch is removed. We'll set that aside. Now that we have a new door switch, let's go ahead and install it. You wanna start by inserting the strike of the switch down through the hole provided, and then hold the switch in place while you insert the two number two Phillips screws through the body of the switch. And you just wanna get it started with your fingers. The other thing you can do is take your driver and in the unscrewing position, feel for the threads and then screw the screw in. And then we're going to adjust the switch so that the other screw hole lines up and we'll get the second screw in place and with our driver get it screwed in reconnect our molex plug and the switch is installed. We can now lower the top and secure it. 
And now we can drop the top and install the two number two Phillips screws that lock the top to the air duct for the lint filter. Now when installing these two number two Phillips screws, you wanna kinda line the holes up and start them by hand. Get one started and then finish it off with your driver because if that screw falls down into that duct, you're gonna have to disassemble the entire back again to get it out. And now we can reinstall the lint screen. And that completes the repair. Thank you for watching another quality video brought to you by appliancevideo.com.